What's up, family? God bless y'all in the mighty name of Jesus. What's good? Jesus Christ is king. If you believe Jesus Christ is king, I want you to put it up in the chat. Let's run it up, man. Start liking the live stream. Start spamming Jesus Christ is king. Put some, some fire emojis, man. I'm about to expose a Freemasonic ritual. A literal Freemasonic ritual was caught on camera um, by a Catholic man who believed that he was sent in there to do it. Literally, since he was young, he believed that he was, call he was called to expose Freemasonry and that Freemasonry is the root to a lot of demonic issues all around the world. This is powerful. Freemasonry, man. It, it, you know what's crazy is if you, um, if you Google Freemasonry or you go on YouTube and look up Freemasonry, they, they, like, they come up with this information like trying to like credit it. Like it's good. Just like they used to do with COVID. Even like me saying this right now, Freemasonry, COVID, like because of AI and just what's going on, they're, they're, they're monitoring what I'm saying. Computers are. This AI, artificial intelligence. Man, take the discipleship course, get plugged in because, man, I'm going to tell you this. I say this in love. I don't know how long this YouTube's gonna, this YouTube channel is going to stay, stay up and running only by the grace of God because I already know they want to get this thing shut down. Because we're about to expose right now something that, uh, oh man, <laughs> they don't want you to know. It's a secret society for a reason, which I think is crazy. You know, Christianity is not secret. Jesus is not secret. Jesus is right in the open, right for you. Ain't nothing secret about being a follower of Jesus Christ. And like I said, Freemasons don't like being exposed. They don't like it. They want to keep it secret. They want to put a facade on, a front. You know, they'll they'll tell you they're a Freemason. They'll have the symbols all over their um, their cars, the ring. They'll represent the brotherhood, the family. But then they don't want you to know about the secrets that they know. It's the same thing with Mormonism. Once you get to a certain level in the Mormon church and the hierarchical structure, it becomes secret, just like Freemasonry, just like Voodoo, just like Santeria, just like... All forms of witchcraft. Every form of witchcraft, they want to keep things secret. You got to pay a price. You got to pay a certain amount. You got to uh, do something, do enough evil. You see, Jesus gave us the word of God. Free, look, you, free 99. You can download an app. You can go on Google. It's free. It's out there, available. You can buy a Bible, cheap, out there. God ain't. God never said that it's secret to buy a Bible. There's no secrecy in that. Everything that, that we stand for is in the word. If you want to seek Jesus, you can pray to him and he'll reveal himself onto you. Ain't no, nothing secret about that. There's a reason why Freemasonry is a, is a secret society. It's because Lucifer is running it. Straight up. Satan himself is running Freemasonry. That's why it's, the, it's if not the biggest um, satanic organization in the world. That's why Freemasons, they run a lot of the world. That's why the Bible says that, you know, Satan, Satan, Lucifer, he's a fallen angel. And he's the prince of this world, this the, the prince of the air. He's the he's the one that that controls all the material stuff that that you know that was created. He can't create what well, God's created though. He can't create nature, trees, sun, stars. He can just pervert it, and he tries to create what he what he does. What Satan does here, what Satan does here is he he tries to recreate heaven from what he remembers, from what he knows. Because remember, he was a high ranking angel. In heaven, he was right. He was, man, he was the highest. You know, he was right there, you know, next to Yahweh. Cherubim angel. High ranking. Got casted down, man. But he knows all the information from heaven. And that's what he tries to do is take the information from heaven, bring it here to earth, give it to his people. He's trying to literally do what God does. He's trying to make his own creation. Why do you think we got all the AI coming out? The uh the like man, people's DNAs have been altered for generations through just what they man, it's it's a lot of stuff going on, bro. That if you're not spiritual, you're not gonna be able to peep it. And as Christians, we have to be spiritual. We can't be carnal minded. We can't be like, I don't want to think about this. No, it's real because there's gonna be a lot of these people coming to the body of Christ, getting delivered, getting healed, getting saved, soul fragmented, needing deliverance and healing for for time, man. Imagine a high ranking Freemason comes to your church and repents. And gets delivered. What are you going to do? You got to work with them. Because just because they got free, filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized, 
you know, born again doesn't mean that, that that's it. Okay, they're perfect now. No, they need to go through more healing, more deliverance, you know, counseling. They need to get, they need, they, they need to, they need to get strengthened, discipled, because these are the main ones the enemy wants to take out to steal their testimony. Because the Bible says in the book of Revelation, it's the, te the testimony of the saints and the blood of the lamb that overcomes the enemy. That's how we overcome the enemy in this last hour. It's our testimony of what Jesus Christ did for us, how he saved us, where we came from, how we are now, and the blood of, of Jesus, the forgiveness, the remission, letting people know, hey, this is what Jesus did for me and how he forgave me and he wants to forgive you, the gospel. That's why when it comes to evangelism, you have to, you have to have your testimony ready along with the gospel, how people can be forgiven. They need to know what they need to be forgiven from. So, hallelujah. We're going to go through some things before we get into the full um, ritual. I'm going to play the entire um, video that was caught on camera, undercover. Watch all the way to the end again. I want you guys to like this video right now. Start sharing it with your friends and family. Spam in the chat. <clears throat> Just spam. Just spam. It's good because it, it start, the algorithm starts running up and more people can see it. Where are you guys from? What city and state? What city and state are you guys from? I can see the chat right there. What city and state are you guys from? And also, at the end of this live, I'm going to be praying to break generational curses. We're going to do a mass deliverance at the end. At the end of this live, there's going to be a mass deliverance at the end. So watch all the way to the end in Jesus' name. Florida boys. What's up, my Florida people, my Florida brothers and sisters? We from Florida. What's good? God bless y'all, man. Man, Germany, Puerto Rico, Charlotte, man, we got a lot of people in the house, man. Different cities, different states. I love it, man. I love all, I love all you guys, man, my brothers, my sisters, and my haters. I love all my haters too, man. But if you get pharisaical, you're going to get blocked. I'm sorry. I, I, I love you. I love you. If you start wilding out in the comments, or you, uh, you're just going to get blocked from the page. It's okay. I still love you. I, I don't have any bitterness, but you're going to get blocked. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't put up with the pharisaicals trying to deceive people. And yeah, it just gets, it just gets boring. But I pray in the name of Jesus, you get freed though. <laughs> Just like Jesus, we don't gotta we don't gotta try to debate Pharisees. They were always trying to debate him, man. All right, y'all ready? All right, let's get into it. So first, I want to say a prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. I just pray, Holy Spirit, that you would move mightily with this life. I pray many people would be broken from the curses of Freemasonry, delivered, healed, Lord. I pray that you would expose darkness, Lord, so that light can be shed, Father. Regardless if someone's in Freemasonry right now or they're, they come from a lineage of Freemasonry, whatever it is, Lord, you still love them and you want them to be freed and bring, brought to repentance so that their names can be written in the book of life, Lord, so they can inherit the kingdom of heaven. Lord, we, we know this. We know you cannot be a Freemason and inherit the kingdom of heaven because that's, that's witchcraft, that's idolatry, and that's putting something above you, Jesus. So in Jesus' name, I pray that you move mightily, Lord. Protect your people. Protect this life. May it go to the nations, protect the YouTube channel, Lord, so we can continue spreading the light of God in Jesus' mighty name. And the church says together, amen and amen. If you come in agreement, put amen in the chat. Hallelujah. And for my prayer warriors, for my, for my tongue-talking, Holy Ghost-filled men and women of God, praying the Holy Ghost as this live is going. La kata rebaso. Praying the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to play a video, and it's from... It's from a Freemason um, actual society. I believe they're in, they're in California. They're called the California Masons. And um, it's just a one-minute reel about what they believe in, right? Or how they approach other people when people say, hey, are you a secret society? I want you guys to discern by the Spirit. If you, have, if you have the Holy Spirit, you have the gift of discernment. Discern by the Spirit what you feel when listening to this reel. And then I'm going to explain afterwards the penalties for revealing any secrets of free, Freemasonry if you've been a Freemason. So let me put the, the camera on so you guys can see. All right. Eternity. But it wasn't until... Let me just Grandma down. don't want to make... Scroll back up. When I joined in England, I was told that I was joining a worldwide fraternity. But it wasn't until I came to California and found I could walk into a lodge and not just be welcomed as a visitor, but as a brother. Mm. Uh, that really brought it home to me, the, the universality of Freemasonry. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about masonry 
is that only certain type of people can join. I gotta say, as someone who first heard about masonry in many ways through a lot of those very shady history channel programming, uh, the rumors do help bring guys in sometimes who are looking to know, so I'm not entirely against it, but absolutely it is a misconception and we're just a good community organization. We're not a secret society. We wear the square and campus pin. We put it on our buildings. We, we, we're not hiding. We, don't, we shouldn't be hiding because we want to make a favorable opinion among those who might one day want to become part of us. When I joined in England, I- Yeah, I had, I had to dislike that video real quick. All right, hold on, let me get it back to camera one. All right, so listen, there's some things that to me that stood out. Number one, I, I, in the spirit I discerned like a spirit of like mockery, almost like, like real like saying like, yeah, like we, you know, it's not secret and everything's okay and we're okay. Like real like conniving, mocking spirit, like a Luciferian spirit. I also discerned by the spirit, the manipulation. Oh, we wear our, our, our whatever they wear, the, I forgot what it's called, the compass on the outside. We, yeah, they do. They 100% do. They wear that compass. They don't wear it to not be secret. They wear it so that other Freemasons can see it so that they can be protected or so that, so their organization could like be aware, okay, that's a brother or a sister in Freemasonry. Another thing I, I, I recognize by this guy that's from England is he said, I felt like it was a family, like a brotherhood. You see, it's perversion of what the body of Christ is supposed to be. It's perversion. A lot of the people in Freemasonry, and Freemasons are for the men, morning stars are for the women. This is what I've learned. This stuff is, 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 is perversion, and it's people that are rejected. People that come from rejected homes, mother and father ain't there. They come to this Freemasonry stuff and they get yoked up with this, with this, with this, with this. It's spiritual. It really is. And there really is protection, but it's demonic protection, demonically spiritual. They get yoked up in generational curses come for generations upon generations. I know this because I've casted a many demons that come from Freemasonry out of people. Off video, on video. We're going to play a deliverance at the end a few months ago of someone who actually came that was a high-ranking Freemason and actually gave it up. He's not the first person that's come to our church that gave up Freemasonry, man. Like, we've seen it. I've seen people, like, and um, expose the, 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 the Freemason, like, their, 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 um, their doctrine, all that stuff. Like, it's real, but there's a reason why these people get so scared to expose it. It's because of word curses. So when, they, when they're brought through induction, and you guys are going to see that in the, the full video, when they're brought through induction, they have to come in agreement with certain curses. Like if you say this, this body part gets cut off. If you say this, you get this put into your, you know, this needle put into your heart. If you say this, you, you know, your family, this will happen to your family. Like they literally come in agreement with word curses because even Lucifer knows that life and death is in the power of the tongue. They do the, they do the same thing in voodoo and santeria. The witches and warlocks will tell you some truths about your past so your faith increases and then make you come in agreement with word curses, with lies, so that you start operating in witchcraft without even knowing because you're trying to defend yourself or do good you have the right heart, but the, but the heart is deceitful amongst all things. Not without knowledge, you could you could die. My people die for lack of knowledge. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys another video, and this video, a little bit longer, and I'm gonna show you how, guys how um how YouTube even promotes Freemasonry is crazy. Father, we just pray the blood of Jesus over this live so we can get all the way to the end. But look at this. Hold on, let me, let me put it on the reaction. Go back, boom. All right, so as you guys can see right here, look, when you type in Freemasonry, right, like if you were to go on YouTube right now when we get off and you type it in, it literally pops up. Look, Freemasonry, the teachings and practices of a secret fraternal order of free and accepted Masons. It's like they're trying to promote it. Y'all remember when when, when uh, COVID was going crazy and, they, and, and the shot was being exposed and the whole agenda? And anytime you put anything with COVID, it, that, like something would pop up, warning. And remember that? Y'all know what I'm talking about? It's the same thing with Freemasonry. Why? Because Freemasons, they run, they, they're, 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 they're in high power when it comes to the digital platforms. God is more powerful than that. God, has, God can do anything he wants. It's, the Bible says he casts out demons with his finger. Literally, go read the book of Luke. He, in the Gospels, he casts out demons with his finger. God is all powerful. The world is his footstool. Like, just imagine like where you put your foot just chilling like a basketball. I'm just chilling like it's nothing to him, right? But when it comes to like, digital the digital spaces the physical realm satan god allowed satan to have his way 
God allowed Satan to create things because God knows, he knows that those who truly love him are going to come back to him anyways. Remember, we come from God. He knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. So when he sends us here to earth to get tested, he knows who's going to come back. He loves us. He, the Bible says no one comes to the Son unless the Father draws him in. He's drawing in people constantly. There's nobody who gets sent to hell, right? And you get sent to hell by making your own decision. Nobody goes to hell and says, why am I in hell? I don't deserve to be here. No, every person in hell knows they're not supposed to be in hell because God has warned them too many times, but they decided to do it in their own free will. We have free will, my brothers and sisters. The lake of fire was never made for us. It was made for the fallen angels. But just like the fallen angels, right, who are created by God too, in relationship with God too, they, they're, they're building a relationship with God too. They're not all-knowing. They build a relationship with God by serving us. They look at us in awe, like, whoa, like, look at them. They never, they don't know God like we know because we're in the spirit realm. We know God is real. But they, they got to they go through this, this life, this, 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 life, this game of life, this test of life to find God. Wow, like, they look at us in awe when we worship God. They worship with us. Our angels are our brothers in, like in arms, bro. Like they're with us and they're building a relationship with Yahweh too. So they, they just like we can go to, we can, we can fall with our own free will. So can angels. Angels have free will. Angels, that's why angels have free will. That's why there's no excuse because angels know that Yahweh is, Yahweh is Lord, that he's the highest power, that Jesus Christ is king. They know this. The Holy Spirit, it, 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 Father, Son, Holy Ghost, one God, three different persons. They know that God the triune Godhead is the highest power, but they still chose to rebel. That's pride because they want to become like God. That's why there's no, there's no repentance for them because they know no. We, we have the opportunity to believe and repent because we're in these fallen vessels. We come to this earth. We have to go through life. We, and and what, 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 the devil, what the devil believes is that we're going to love the material things he's provided more than God itself. We're going to love the sex, the drugs, the, 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 the money, the, 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 all the stuff he's created. But everything he's created is a perversion of heaven. Just like there's buildings here, you don't think in heaven there's going to be a lot more in, like detailed, intricate, beautiful buildings. Yes, there's going to be buildings. Jesus literally said, I have a mansion prepared for you. There's going to be mansions. Bigger, probably, look, not probably. The mansions that are going to be in heaven for us, for those who actually put in work here on earth because of their faith in Jesus Christ, we're not saved by works, but by grace through faith, but we still have to work because faith without works is dead, right? Just for anyone that tries to manifest the religious spirit. I love you in Jesus' name, but come out. Haha, <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Come out. Everyone put in the chat. Come out. But um, yeah, in heaven, there's going to be mansions for us that are going to look better than the most expensive mansion here on earth. Just imagine that. So when you know that, you're not going to be working on this earth for the Lord with like uh, with the with the with the mindset of I need a mansion here. You're not going to care. Do the, can you can God bless you financially? And yeah, of course He can. But you don't care. Everything that God blesses you with is an opportunity to expand the kingdom. When you have that mindset, you're like God's ATM. He can pour into you. You're going to pour out, and He'll refill you. Right? It's the same thing. But our our currency is not money in the spirit realm. It's faith. Every religious spirit, come out in Jesus' name. So I'm going to play this video. This is actually the penalties for revealing Mason secrets. Bro, you get penalized. You can, bro, they start putting witchcraft on you. Because think about it. When you, when you get inducted as a Freemason and you decide to start exposing it, if you don't get deliverance, those demons that are inside you from what you came in agreement, the oaths, you know, the Bible says, do not make an oath. We know this. The, from the oaths, the word curses you put on yourself, Bro, if you don't get delivered, those demons are going to start tormenting you. Anyone who comes from witchcraft, Freemasonry, any of that, their first year, two years, even sometimes even longer, they go through a process of deliverance and healing. I had to go through a process of deliverance and healing. I'm still going through deliverance and healing. God's still delivering me and healing me through his word, through, the, through, through prayer, through the presence of God. God's still breaking strongholds. God is, I mean, all of us are never going to, like, we're going to always grow in you know, in, 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 in the faith and continue to get healed and delivered, of course. But when you come from some deep stuff and your soul's fragmented, you got to get healing and deliverance. God has to take you back to those moments so you can forgive or, or so that you can break that curse or break that altar in the realm of the spirit. Bro, I'm telling you, deliverance ministry is real. So when Christians say, oh, Christians can't have a demon, bro, that's actually very like, um, for me, I have the fear of the Lord. That's scary, bro. To tell Christians that, that's scary because... Bro, if you tell the Christian that who needs deliverance for real because they were in Freemasonry, and that's on you. If you teach a Christian that, that's on you. You're going to have to give an account for that soul. Man, and we've all fell, we, we, we all fall short, all right? We all fall short. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Just 
Hey, point people to relationship with Jesus if you're not sure. Amen. Everyone, hey, everyone put a fire emoji. Run up that fire emoji. Hallelujah. Man, we got man, we got over a thousand viewers right now, man. It's about to get real. So let's let's um make sure you like the video so we can run it up and, and spread this to the world, to to the to all the darkness, so people can get that light, that Jesus light, that 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 the Holy Ghost heaven. Amen. But I'm gonna play this video. These are these are the penalties for for um revealing the secrets of Freemasonry. Since Masons believe that the ritual is their authority then please listen as Mr. Jack Harris, a former Worshipful Master of the Lodge, continues to perform and explain the significance of portions of the Entered Apprentice degree, the first degree of Masonry. We will now continue with our ritual in the first degree of Freemasonry. Look at this stuff, man, this is weird. Mr. Smith, you are received into Masonry upon the point of a sharp instrument piercing your naked left breast, which is to teach you, as this is an instrument of torture to your flesh, so may the recollection thereof be to your conscience, should you ever reveal any of the secrets of Freemasonry unlawfully. What the heck? Vouchsafe thine aid, Almighty Father of the Universe, to this our present convention, and grant that this candidate for masonry may dedicate and devote his life to thy service. Endue him with the competency of thy divine wisdom, that by the secrets of our art he may be better enabled to display the beauties of holiness of thy holy name. Bro, look amen. at that perversion. He said, Amen, holy name. Perversion. This ain't Mr. Yahweh. Smith, in times of imminent pearl and danger, in whom do you place your trust? In God. Hey, it ain't God with the capital G. Lucifer. You see the perversion? Right, as a former worshipful master, I want to ask you a couple things. First of all, we saw this segment with Bill Mankin, 32nd degree Mason, talking to Dr. Walter Martin. He said masonry is not a religion and has no creed, no confession of faith, okay? Then we watched as you actually performed the ritual. And it seemed to me that you did have a creed. You did have a confession of faith. Tell us what you were doing. By the way, he says, the guy said he's a former Freemason, so he's exposing it. I'm, I'm guessing that he, it was like a, they were just acting it out, like showing like what happens, like how, how it works. And talk to both of those areas. And at the end, I'm going to expose an actual video, a recent video of like what they're doing in the lodge, lodges. Okay, the first area dealing with being received as a Freemason into the lodge. You are received upon the penalty of a sharp instrument piercing your naked left breast. Yeah, now that was, that was pretty rugged. You see that? The penalty of a sharp, like you have to like, you have to get some, an instrument like stabbed into your left breast, your heart, right? The heart, very important because the heart is where you got to believe. There's a reason why it's the heart. And then there's, it's to remind you of the pain is to remind you of what can happen to you if you reveal secrets. That's crazy. That's, bro, that's, that's witchcraft. What do you think about that threat of punishment from a Christian point of view? From a Christian point of view now, I believe that it, yep. uh, it's very hard for me to be a witness for Jesus Christ in the world at the same time knowing I belong to an organization that is telling me that I must keep their religious secrets secret or I will suffer a penalty of death. I have a hard time with this as a Christian. Okay, you got a secret organization wow. versus an open one. Wow, wow, wow. So you guys, you guys heard him. So that guy is, is a former Freemason. He's a former Freemason that, that now is, expo I mean, back then, I don't know if he's still doing it, but he was exposing this. It's the, the video said 2009, exposing, you know, like, hey, as a Christian, how can I preach the gospel? How can I witness? How could I be effective if I have all these secrets? You see? So this is a, a former Freemason exposing Freemasonry and how it works so that people, so other people can know. You know, you know, it's crazy. There are so many pastors of different denominational churches, like, like, um, what is it? Uh, a Lutheran, a Presbyterian, and like, and these pastors pastors will literally wear the Freemason compass on their like uh, the pastoral gowns they wear. I don't even know what that's called. 
I didn't go to seminary school, so I don't <laughs> I don't gotta go to seminary school to be a pastor. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost and I read the word of God. I got I got the Holy Ghost seminary school. I don't think seminary school or theology the uh school for theology is wrong at all. Not at all. I think it's great, but I believe that you should be born again before you even go because it's important to have the Holy Ghost when you read the word. But anyways, in Jesus Christ is King, He's Lord, religious spirit. Come out in Jesus' name. Everyone put in the chat. Come out, because I know somebody's manifesting right now, and I love you in Jesus' name. So as you guys can see, this former Freemason is exposing it. Like, how, as a Christian, can you do that? Like, how are these pastors on a pulpit preaching with, and, like, out there, like, so deceived to where they think they can put the pin and, like, that's, like, that's blasphemy. And there's people that, that actually follow these pastors. Those people that are following those pastors, they don't read their Bible. You go to the Catholic church, I'm telling you, there's a lot of Freemasons. I've had testimonies. Man, there was one deliverance. There's a, there was a deliverance years ago. I remember this guy, right? He was coming out of the LGBTQ community. I mean, we went to, we went to his, um, his house in Miami. It was a borderline mansion, right? It was, it was, it was powerful, right? So we go and, um, and you know, he, he wanted deliverance. He just got saved, born again. He needed, he needed a lot of work, right? He still had witchcraft items and stuff, and I explained it to get rid of it. We worshipped. It was powerful. And we, I mean, we casted demons out of this guy. No, no exaggeration. I would probably say for at least two hours. Like it was so many demons coming out of him. So much healing. So much, you know, a prof prophetic words of knowledge. This is, this is about two and a half, three years ago. And I remember him getting delivered and all that. And, I, and then he broke down because I think we were praying in the spirit or something like that. And I seen that there was a ritual done. Like I seen it by the spirit, like a vision. The Holy Ghost showed me. And he was like, yeah. And he sat down and he explained like how and when he was a baby, like a young boy in the Catholic Church, I think it was in Connecticut or New York, like upstate um, or, or um, North North America, that whole area. He was going to a Catholic church. It was like a Irish Catholic church. They took him to the bottom of the Catholic church. And there was a whole Freemasonic base. There was like a basement that was off limits that only the, the, the leadership knew about. And they did a whole Freemasonic ritual down there. Like they were torturing people and they raped him at the altar of this Freemasonic church at the bottom of the Catholic church. And these were Catholic priests. These were, why do you think, why do you think there's so much rape of children in the Catholic Church. Yeah, rape is everywhere, right? We know this. But why do you think there's so much in the Catholic Church? And why do they not, why, why, how come they never get penalized? Do you never see them going to the feds? Like, I mean, maybe there are some cases, but most of the time, from what I know, these priests will just get taken out. They'll get put like into rehabilitation, right? Like go somewhere far off, get rehabbed and whatever, confess their sins to, you know, and pray the, 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 the whatever prayer 8 million times. And then they just get relocated to another Catholic church to become a priest there where nobody knows them. You know that, you know, that's how it works. This is crazy. That's why, bro, like people try to defend Catholicism. Look, I was, my, I was raised Catholic for so many years, but you don't know what's going on in the Catholic church. It's demonic, bro. It's idolatry. They're worshiping, man. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother, um, whole nother topic. You don't need to follow no religion. It's Jesus Christ. Denomination is division. It should never be denomination. I don't even feel comfortable saying we're non-denominational. I have to say that so people understand that, but like, I don't even like that. We just follow Jesus Christ. He's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. We believe in the word of God. We are filled with the Holy Ghost. We're followers of the way. That's what they were called back then. Followers of the way, not Christians. Christians was actually a derogatory term that came from the, the Catholic, the Roman papacy. But that's a, that's a whole nother teaching. Um, so I got I got a list right here. So <clears throat> what Freemasons believe real that you all saw that the penalties and like, let's talk about I found this article on Reddit where um, somebody broke down why you cannot be a good Christian and a Freemason at the same time. You got to choose whom you will serve. I found this article and I was like, wow, whoever this is, they snapped like powerful. Let me put it on real quick. Hey, if, hey stay all the way to the end. I'm going to put I'm going to play a secret, um, a video that was recorded in secret of a like recent Freemasonic high ranking ritual induction, whatever. I don't know what it was. I'm not really knowledgeable too much. I'm just going to be honest. I wasn't in Freemasonry, so I don't know, but I'm going to play that video. It was released recently. The person who released it's actually getting death threats, but this man is like going ham. He doesn't care. He's going on podcasts. You know, God bless him. God has probably ordained him to do it. Yo, God, you know, God can mantle anybody. God can mantle a president that's not even saved. 
Mantles doesn't mean you're saved. Mantles are power and an authority given by God to fulfill a specific purpose. We see that in the Bible. There was kings, King Cyrus, King Nebuchadnezzar. There was people in the Bible who were mantled that God put in authority that didn't even believe in Yahweh just to get just for his will to be done. That's how powerful our God is. We get to not only be mantled, but we also get to get be filled with the Holy Ghost, have Christ living inside of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Everyone say Jesus Christ is king, man. Jesus Christ is king. I'm just letting y'all know if you start wilding out, if you start wilding out in the um in the chat on some uh on some pharisaical stuff, we're going to block you. So if you want to keep watching this channel, even if you don't like me, if you're a hater, I love you, but if you want to keep watching this channel, I'm just letting you know, I'm warning you, we are going to block you. We don't play, we don't we don't we, anybody coming with that craziness, I love you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. We got to protect the babies in the faith cuz they don't know what's going on. Hallelujah. <laughs> now we got 1300. All right, so let's read this article. This is powerful. Put on the reaction screen. So it says you cannot be a good Christian and a Freemason at the same time. And they use Bible verses. Choose whom you will serve. Two months ago by Christianity and the Christianity Reddit from somebody. I can't even see the name, but amen. Look, you cannot be a Christian and a Freemason at the same time. Choose whom you will serve. God, who designed the human body and invented the brain, the brain clearly said not to take oaths. He, he did say that in his word, period. The Bible doesn't stutter. Look, but I tell you, do not swear an oath at all, but let your yes be yes and your no be no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Matthew chapter 5, verses 34 through 37. The holy eternal creator also confirmed that there are no secrets. Look at this. Jesus answered him. I spoke openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort and in secret have I said nothing. John 18, 20. So even Jesus said nothing in secret. Jesus, Jesus didn't play. Jesus pulled up on the, like where the Pharisees were at, he pulled up. Jesus pulled up in the areas where there were people that, people that were drinking, that were, that were pro in prostitution. He pulled up to the areas that most Christians nowadays won't even go to, to preach the gospel. You see, Jesus was about that life. Everyone put, Jesus was about that life in the chat. Jesus was about that life. Jesus did not he, 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 wasn't, he, he wasn't a Pharisee. He wasn't a religious person that's all secretive. You know, like we see that. We see that in Christianity nowadays, bro. Like it's sad. So many leaders with big platforms on the low, getting drunk, getting high, sleeping with little girls. Like, man, I've heard so many stories, bro. And, you know, God, I would say this, you know, may God have grace, mercy, and, 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 and bless them. But I pray God brings them to deliverance and healing so they stop. We're not supposed to be doing those things as Christians because then unsaved people, when they see these, these scandals and these, these crazy things happening, and they, why would they want to be Christian? We're representing them wrong. That's why deliverance ministry, healing ministry is so important in this last hour, bro, because even pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers, whatever, bishops need deliverance too, need counsel too, need healing too. I have a spiritual covering, a spiritual father who pours into me. I got, he prays for me. If I have any issues, I call him. He helps me out. I have mentors. If I need deliverance, if I need healing, I could call. Hey, I need help. I'm having this, you know, I, I need, I need this prayer. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm held accountable. I ain't going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm just this perfect, amazing guy that doesn't have a, you know, like, no, I have spiritual leaders, like not brothers. I, I, I have brothers and sisters too. Here at The Rock, we have pastors and evangelists. They're different, different, like, yeah, of course. And even I ask them for prayer, too. Even deacons, deaconesses, we're all like, bro, we don't, nobody's better than nobody. And I have leadership, people who are above me that I, like, I follow as they follow Christ, who have more experience and wisdom that I can go to for mentorship. You see what I'm saying? It's very important that you get plugged into a church, be under a spiritual covering. The Bible says submit to a leader who has watch over your soul and be discipled. Somewhere you could be planted to grow. Very important, man. You can't be an orphan out there with a with a whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be careful. So look at this. So whatever secrets Freemasonry, Freemasonry claims to have are irrelevant and won't benefit you. After your death date on judgment day, the creator who prepared a human body for himself and joined his own creation, who that's good, knows better than his fallen creation. Catch that. I'm going to say it again. The, the creator, Jesus, who perform, who prepared, look at, look at this. Jesus, who prepared a human body for himself, right, and joined his own creation, knows better than his fallen creation. The Bible also forbids you to bow down before fellow men and to call them master, bro. 
Some people are going to get convicted. The Bible says it. Look, neither be ye called masters, for one is your master Christ. Matthew 23, 10, the Bible says that no man is good ever. All men have turned away that they have they have they have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Romans 3, 12. It's true. The Bible talks about not bowing down. Yes, in the Old Testament, we see they would bow down to like in honor. Yet it's the heart. So if you're bowing down to someone calling a master like they do in Freemasonry, like you guys are going to see at the end, don't log off. I'm going to play this, this video, this, this video that was recorded in a, in a, in a Masonic Lodge, this undercover video. They bow down, bro. They bow down. They don't care. They don't, they don't play. They, they, they worship these, these higher ranking Masons. And it's crazy too. I know this for a fact because um, just of people I know that, that, that have experienced this, bro, when, when people die, if you're a Freemason or you're part of like, let's say you're the wife to a Freemason, they do a ritual around your casket when you're during the viewing. Before you get buried, they do a whole ritual. They have to do a ritual and supposedly they, they, they take your soul. Like that, that's, yo, like it's crazy how deceived they are and how they think it's good. Like they make these oaths and contracts that when they die, they're giving their soul to the, I, I, I don't know the specifics, but I got some very important news. We're going to actually have a, 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 an ex-Freemason, ex-warlock, high-ranking Freemason. He was in the police force. He was in the Brotherhood of Freemasons and, and, and um, Santeria and, and, and witchcraft and voodoo. He was deep in it, in the police force out in, um, in New, Newark, New Jersey. His name is Victor Ramos, who came out of it. He got delivered. He's a powerful man of God. I met this man of God three years ago. Three years ago, I saw his YouTube video. I hit him up, and now we talked. Man, it's crazy because the Holy Spirit put it on my heart recently to hit him up. And man, he, he I didn't even know he'd been watching my videos. We haven't talked in three years. He was super excited. He's actually going to be flying out to Orlando next weekend, man. He's going to be coming out to do a podcast. And then he's going to be giving his testimony at a service. Ex-Freemason, high-ranking Freemason, ex-warlock coming to preach his testimony and about the goodness of God. He's filled with the Holy Ghost. His daughter's filled with the Holy Ghost. Man, shout out to Victor, my brother. God bless you. He, his his, uh, his testimony is there on YouTube. I'll show you guys in a second a little snippet of it. But he's going to be coming here, man, and we're going to um, and we're gonna chop it up. He's going to be in this room. Man, I, I, he's going to be flying out, man. We're going we're gonna to go evangelizing with him. We're going to take him out for the whole weekend, man. So, hey, if you've been thinking about coming to The Rock, flying in, driving in, whatever, Next weekend might be a good time because it's going to be powerful. I believe deliverance is going to break out in Jesus' mighty name. So let's continue. Let's see. So I have, okay. Okay, let's watch the reel. Okay, so I, this, this is, so I originally, um, let me put it back on camera one. I originally found this reel, and this is the reel that, um, that actually led me to looking up the full video. I saw this reel on, on um. On, An undercover uh, Catholic journalist Instagram. has received death. Hold on. I saw this reel on Instagram and and this is about a few days ago. I downloaded it real quick because I was going to react to it. And then today I just felt led to look, find the full video. And then Holy Spirit just took over, got on a phone call with Victor. Man, it's just, and now I feel led to just, this is like the, the warm up. Because when he comes, this is in, in the flesh, powerful man of God who's going to expose Freemasonry. And not only that, Santeria. So he comes from witchcraft like I did too. So we're gonna just chop it up and just dialogue, and man, it's good. The Holy Ghost is gonna move. We expose this. This is exposing darkness. This is the kingdom of God coming together to break chains, bro. Because you got my, my brothers and my sisters, we got one thousand five hundred and fifty viewers on here. Imagine if one person comes out of Freemasonry from watching this video. One person gets broke from a generational curse of Freemasonry because their mom and their or their dad or grandpa was involved in that that Morning Star Freemasonry stuff. Imagine. Imagine how many people, just, just think about it. If it's like the, the number one organization that's controlling the population, you know, from the, the kingdom of Lucifer, where, just imagine how many people can come out from this video. Imagine, bro. That's why I'm taking the risk and I'm putting it up on YouTube. Hey, God is in full control. God told me to do it. I'm being led by the spirit. His presence went before me. We Gucci at the end of the day, whatever happens, happens. So, hey, I want you guys to like the video. Smash the like button now. Let's run this thing up to like 10K live viewers smash the like button i want you to smash it i want you to start spamming in the in the chat just start spamming what the lord's putting on your heart right now it just what what how about this put a prayer in the chat put a prayer in the chat what you're praying for right now 
that it break chains, bring deliverance, bring healing, save somebody's soul. Hallelujah. Then I'm going to play the real. I'm going to play the real. I believe like in the next five minutes we can hit, we can go past 2,000 viewers live, man. This is powerful. This is powerful. I believe a lot. I believe this video is going to go to the nations. And we're going to even save this live after just in case anything happens. They try to take it down from YouTube. We're going to save this video so we can post it. And remember, we got school, uh, a school platform with the, after you finish the free discipleship course, you can join us. Um, and it's a platform that can't be taken down because it's not controlled by the, uh, by the elite. <laughs> Jesus Christ is king, man. We got big angels with us, man. Big angels. They can talk about all they want, man. Look, I'm going to say it again. Look, they can say everything they want about how they can put curses and all that. Yeah, they can, they can put curses in the, in, 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 the, in the spirit, in the air. They can send them curses. They can, they can do their rituals and have their altars. It's true. But guess what? One prayer of a Holy Spirit-filled Christian can destroy an entire demonic operation that they've been planning for a whole month, doing blood sacrifices, uh, 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 sitting in cemeteries and doing all these things. One prayer of a Holy Spirit-filled Christian could dismantle that entire thing. How amazing is God? We don't got to do no blood rituals, burn no sage, have no evil eyes. We don't got to have no crystals. We don't got to go take no baths. We ain't got to go bow down and call people master. Well, we do to Jesus, not to a person. But you see what I'm saying? Like, we have a relationship with the Most High God. Jesus Christ is the only way. You don't see people in Islam exposing Freemasonry. You don't see people in Buddhism exposing Freemasonry. You know why? Because they don't, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about someone else's religion because that's their own choice. Okay. I always say this, if that's the case, then. So in Satanism, them raping children and killing and, and, and sacrificing children, which is real. That's okay. Oh no, it's not okay. Okay. You're being judgmental, contradicting what you even stand for. There has to be, there has to be a set rule system. That's Yahweh. He gave us, he gave us the law. We're not under the law. But at the end of the day, the law convicts us of sin. Like God has his own way. Yahweh has his own way. Yahweh or no way. Amen. Everyone put in the chat, Yahweh, no way. All right, I'm going to play this real, real quick, and then we're going to get into the full video. And I'm going to be praying a mass deliverance at the end for anyone who needs it. Because you might have people in your family that are in Freemasonry. Hey, how about this? If you have relatives that are, <clears throat> are in Freemasonry, it could be your mom was a morning star, your dad was a Freemason, uncle, grandpa, whatever it is, and you know you need deliverance from this Freemasonic thing that's been that's been tormenting you, bringing chaos, bringing destruction, maybe disfragmented your soul. Maybe you are an ex-Freemason. Maybe you are Freemason and you want to repent. If that's you and you know you need deliverance, put a one in the chat. This is how we'll know how many people need freedom. Put a one in the chat. Only if you know you need deliverance from this spirit because it's in your bloodline or whatever. Put a one in the chat. Watch, you guys are going to see how many people need deliverance while I pull up this video. Yeah, I'm going to play this video in a second. Let's see how many ones we get. Whoop, there goes the ones. There goes the ones. Look at all the ones. Look at all the ones. Look how many people need deliverance from this thing, man. How beautiful is it that God can deliver and, and, and free, free you guys straight from a YouTube live? Man, God is so good, man. He's all-powerful, all-knowing, and he's omnipresent. He's everywhere at once. I don't need to be there to cast a demon out of you. The Holy Ghost is going to do it. By not only my faith, everyone on this live's faith, in the name of Jesus. It's faith, man. We do everything by faith. Hallelujah. Wow, that's a lot of ones, bro. You see? Woo! God is good. All right, let's play the video real quick. An undercover Catholic journalist has received death threats after posting a video which has since gone viral of the Freemason secret rituals. On November 16th, Kyle Clifton began posting a series of video clips he made while attending a highly secretive Masonic ritual. Filmed with a concealed camera, his footage documents the induction ceremony of a third degree master Mason, which is the highest degree of Freemasonry in the Blue Lodge before members can choose to deepen their membership through more specific routes such as the Scottish Rite. One of his videos has been viewed more than 7 million times on X, formerly known as Twitter. Clifton told LifeSite News exclusively that he was 
18 years old when he decided he wanted to expose Freemasonry because he believed it to be influential in much of the evil in the world. He explained that as a young man, he was asking questions such as, why is the world the way it is? Why is there so much degeneracy in the world? Who's pushing all this propaganda? And the more he researched, quote, it was like everyone was pointing to the Freemasons. Man, that's crazy. Getting death threats and all that. All right, hey, it's real, bro. It's real. Think about it. And I say this for any Freemason that's going to watch this video, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bunch that are pissed off. If, if your organization or, you, or your religion or what your beliefs are, what, and I know how it works with Freemasons, they think that they bridge the gap between all religions. So like <clears throat> they worship a god called Baphomet Jebula. And what they believe this, 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 this god is, is Buddha, Osiris, and Jehovah, a three-headed god. It's a three-headed demon, right? And think about it. If, if Freemasonry was so good, why is it so secret? If Freemasonry is for the people, it's for the better of people's lives, why is it so secret? And why, when you get to a certain degree, 33rd degree, do you sit down and meet Lucifer? And why do they teach the manipulation that Lucifer is the good guy, Jesus is the bad guy? You see, in Freemasonry, they, they study all the religions. That's what the New World Order is going to bring in, is the, is, is, is the all religions being the, 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 the bridge coming together, right? All the gaps being bridged of, new, of all religions. Oh, you can be Islam. You can be a Buddhist. You can be a, Satan, a Satanist, a Luciferian. You can be this. You can, man, I heard yesterday they have a church called the, the Beehive, a literal church that worships Beyonce, bro. Oh, freedom of religion. Believe whatever you want. All the LGBTQ churches, all this perversion, that is satanic. That is Lucifer. That is going to usher in. It's already happening. The Antichrist. This is real. The false prophet. This is real. The Pope was trying to do this. The Pope was trying to say it's okay to have all these religions. And you're supposed to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ? The Bible says that Jesus is the only way. He's the truth and the life. What other religion says that this is the only way? Even Satanists who, if you ask a Satanist, do you believe in Satan? They'll say no. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, I don't believe Satan and Jesus is real. I just worship myself. But then you're a Satanist. You're a Satanist, right? Satanist. You follow Satan. But you don't believe Satan is real, right? And you worship yourself. Why don't you be a, 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 a yourselfist? <laughs> How about you just put your name and say, I worship my nameist? Why do you have to worship? Why do you have to be a Satanist to follow yourself? It's because Satan did the same thing. He convinced Eve to be like God. Go eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Become like God. Think about it. When people blaspheme a God, when they get mad or angry or what, or get about to, or they, they get they get hurt or whatever, what's the one name that everyone always screams when they when they when they when they yell out a God's name in vain? Do, do you ever hear him say Muhammad, Buddha, Satan, Lucifer? No. What is it always? Jesus Christ. Why is it always Jesus Christ that gets blasphemed? Why is it always Jesus Christ's name that's, that's said in vain? It's because he's the highest power. It's because Satan has convinced people to do that. You see how spiritual this world is? Some of you are like, oh, shooty, he's right. Yeah, bro. You, I have never seen someone say, Allah! Muhammad, Buddha. No, they always are blaspheming the name of, of, of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, because he's the, he's the highest power, bro. So I, I, feel it, I feel it by the spirit right now. Some of you are getting convicted. Yeah, it's real out here, man. There's a real war going on in the spiritual, bro. And we got we to gotta give our life to Christ. Let me pull up the full video. I'm about to close this up. Let's pull up that full video. It's a long video, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to put it on the, um, like, the uh, the reaction. But actually, I, I want to put it so that I can, that it won't be on the split screen. Hmm. I think y'all can see the, y'all can see the live stream right now, right? When I did that, y'all can see the live stream, right? Okay, yeah, we're just going to play it. Let me put it on the reaction. Um, hold on one second. Hey, start spamming them up the live stream, man. Mm. 
I'm just gonna call the production people real quick to see if they could um. Do you have one like are one of the options to put on the um the full screen for the the video, or you didn't do you didn't make it? Uh, the full screen. Can you have Brian come here? Okay, let me Brian, I need Brian to come. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have the the production man late. It's about to get real, man. This look at this. Wait, I'm gonna wait. Let me give it a second. I want you guys to see the full video. It's a literally it's a literal hidden camera, of a mock. Execution ritual. A, uh, so when I press reaction full, it, it shows the live stream. I want to see the actual. Um, is it too late to do that? I want to see the actual full video when I do it. No, when I hit regular reaction, it goes there. I want that to be like the main screen, bro. Like there's like my like no no split screen. Um, you guys didn't make that. Is it too late? Yeah, it's too late. If I click this one, it's all good, bro. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this real quick, guys. I'm gonna be with watching it with you guys. I've already watched it. It's really really weird. I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you protect all your all your people in Jesus' name. Y'all ready? All right, start liking that, hitting that like button. Grandmaster Ira Beth, I'm glad to meet you. Give me the secrets of a master mason, or I will take your life. Give me the secrets of a master mason. Talk not to me about time, place, nations, or the completion of the temple. Give me the secrets of a master mason or I will take your life. It will behoove you in this rude and violent manner thus to demand those secrets. When the temple is completed, if found worthy, you'll then receive them lawfully as I have. You have passed Jubilo, Jubilo. Me, you cannot pass. My name is Jubilo, well known for my never determination and Jebula. character. What I undertake, that I do. Give me the secrets of a master mason instantly, for I will take your life. I will not. What? Still persist? Then die! Mock execution of the initiate. The enemy, like Satan is, like these demons are just, and the people are just trying to train these people up to have fear. It's a mock execution. What word is this? We have slain the Grandmaster Hiram of Bill. This is no time for reflection. What shall we do with the body? We will carry, we will bring the rubbish to the temple and the love of God will be free to leave again and discuss what to do with it. Agreed. This is some weird stuff, man. This is what goes on in the Freemasonic temples, bro. This is why they keep it secret. This is some weird ritualistic oath taken. Look at this. What, like. You ever seen people with OCD that be doing weird stuff like that? It's witchcraft. Yeah. I'll tell you this, to be a Christian, you ain't gotta do none of this. <laughs> to be to, to get filled with the Holy Ghost, you just believe in your heart, confess from your mouth. You ain't gotta do none of this. This is crazy. Carrying the dead initiates body they just killed. Oh, okay, I guess the person. Let's uh, make our escape fake out God of is going to initiate Let us make our yet. escape out Let of the kingdom. Hail. Let us hail. Hail, him. Captain Hail. Hello. Is that your ship yonder? It is. Whither are you bound? To Ethiopia. Do you take passengers? I do. Will you take us? I will, if you have King Solomon's pass. King Solomon's We have no pass, but we have money. What the? We will heck? pay you your demands. And you cannot go, for I have strict orders not to take workmen from the temple out of the country unless express permission from King Saul. What shall we do? Hey, Let we had 2,000 viewers. Back. Like it up. Agreed. Agreed. This is some weird stuff, bro. Look at these. These are grown men, bro. These are grown men. Looks like some King 
Solomon, the grandmaster of Hyrule Bedford. Bro, this look at the man in the robe, bro. Look like King Solomon. He's supposed to be dressed up as King. Have you seen the grandmaster of Hyrule Bedford? Have you? Have you seen it? No. This is a Freeman Sonic ritual exposed. Hail, brother. Hail, brother. Hail, brother. What discoveries have you made? Yours have been recently removed. It has the appearance of a grave. Well, there are causes confusion among the crowd. Well, it's actually King Solomon. It's all dressed up as turn. Well, the crowd. Keep it in secret. Here <laughs> we bring He finessed the Freemasons. Look at how that, bro, that's some crazy stuff. And they do that in the military too, which is wild. When you become a chief in the Navy, that's crazy. I never even thought about that. There's a lot of Freemasons in the military, I'll tell you that. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God, is there no help for the widow's son? Brother Hymatar, you will raise the body by the grip of an inner French mason. Most excellent King Solomon, the body cannot be so raised, owing to its advanced Look at that. decomposition. The it grip of an entered days. apprentice Skin. is made by. Pre Let me go back. What the? The grip of an entered apprentice is made by pressing the thumb against the top of the first knuckle joint of the fellow mason. The fellow mason also presses his thumb against the first mason knuckle. The name of the grip is Boaz. What the heck? Whoa. When a candidate is imparted with this grip and is usually just done. In it. That's crazy. What? You know, you know when um recently a uh, ex-Freemason came and got deliverance. I'm going to show that video later. I, I asked him. I said, I said, so you're not a Freemason no more? You renounced that? He said, yeah. I said, then show me the secret handshake. And he actually did that. And I was like, well, that's crazy. And he actually, I think he told me a little bit of more, some more things about it or whatever. But that's crazy, bro. Dead 15 days. Skin slips from the flesh. Then you will endeavor to raise the body by the true grip of a fellow crowd. Most excellent King Solomon, for like reasons before, the body cannot be thus raised. Let me pause it real quick. Yeah, they said, oh, Lord, my God, right? Which is crazy because if you go to a witch or a warlock or a psychic or you go to like, they believe, they believe in Jesus. Like if you ask a Freemason, they believe in Jesus in their mind. But because they haven't believed in him in, in their heart, they have not received the Holy Ghost and they can't understand who Jesus is. You cannot come into relationship with Jesus Christ until you believe in your heart. A lot of people, even Muslims, believe in Jesus in their mind. Many people believe in Jesus, but the wrong Jesus. That's why, bro, Satan has taken over America, already has, 
and preaching a false Jesus where you don't have to repent, you don't have to confess, you don't have to grow holiness and purity just thrown out the window, have fornicate, get drunk, get high. It's the same thing they're pushing in all these other witchcraft religions. There's no difference. You see what I'm saying? Like, we got to believe in Yeshua, Jesus, Jesucristo of the Word of God. The only way is if you receive the Holy Ghost. You cannot follow Jesus, the true Jesus, unless you've received the Holy Spirit. And there's a lot of people who don't truly believe in Jesus in their heart. And that's why this stuff happens, this weird stuff, because the enemy gets in your heart and then it causes, bro, perversion. It's sad, it's blasphemous, and it leads people astray. Because I know there's many Freemasons who will tell you, oh, we believe in Jesus, we read the Bible. And they even know the Bible. Like I said, even pastors. But because they're so deceived, they think that they know more than the Christian. And you know what's crazy? They do the same thing in witchcraft. They're all up in the Catholic Church. They'll say they're Catholic, but that they just know more than the average Catholic. And they think that how Catholicism is, is just how Christianity is, period. And so they start seeing Christians casting out demons, miracle healings, and people getting baptized in the Holy Spirit until they encounter the presence of God. I have never encountered, <clears throat> I never encountered the presence of God. I never encountered the presence of God in the Catholic Church. God's presence is when he's there. You see what I'm saying? This is real, bro. Look at this one. Ja Chin, ja Chin uh, real grip of a fellow craft handshake. The mason takes the fellow mason by the right hand as in an ordinary handshake and presses the top of his thumb hard on the second knuckle. What? The fellow mason presses his thumb against the same knuckle of the first mason's hand. This is some weird stuff, bro. Think about how many people you've shook their hand and they probably like, we're seeing if you were going to do the Freemason thing. It, I, it makes me think, bro. That's, this is crazy. Flesh cleaves from the bone. Brother, I'm tired. What shall we do? Let us pray. Brother, let us pray. So, oh, Lord God, know us are down, are down sitting and are uprising, and our understanding, our thoughts are far off. Shield and defend us from the evil intentions of our enemies and support us. Someone said, Are they Catholics? They look like Catholics, right? A lot of Catholics are Freemasons. A lot of Catholic priests are Freemasons. This is a whole like ritual of somebody getting killed and their body being buried. I think they're like teaching them. Or initiating, I don't even know. As a flower and is cut down, he sleeps as well as a shadow and continues not. Seeing that his days are determined, the number of his months is with thee, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again and that the tender branch, therefore, will not cease. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yeah, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the waters fail, fail from the sea... This is like a whole... This is like a whole, like, written prayer that they repeat that's been passed down for generations and generations, bro. This is crazy. They're like read. It's like it's like if you go to the, if you if you if, if you were ever raised Catholic, how they they tell you to memorize a prayer and you got to read it and read it over it with like there's no faith in it. You're just reading it and reading it. That's what he's doing right now. It sounds like he's just reading. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. But, he, but life and death is in the power of the tongue. Rise up, so man lieth down, and rises not up, till the heaven shall be no more. Yet the Lord have compassion on the children of thy creation, and minister them comfort. In the time of trouble and save them with everlasting salvation. Amen. Brother, I am attacked. My mind is now clear. And although the skin slips from the flesh and the flesh clings from the bone, there is yet still strength in the lion of the tribe of Judah. And the body shall be raised on the five points of fellowship, and the first words spoken or uttered after the body is raised will be the substitute for the ancient master's word unto the future generation. Okay, let's pause that. What the heck? Wait, let me go back. What was that? 
that this guy really exposed them like bro, professional quality. Maha bone, real grip of a master mason handshake. The mason firmly grips the right hand of a fellow mason. The thumbs of both hands are interlaced. The first mason presses the top of his fingers against the wrist of the fellow mason where it unites with the hand. The fellow mason at the same time presses his fingers against the corresponding part of the first mason's hand and the fingers of each are somewhat apart. The grip is also called the strong grip of the master masons or the lion's paw. Instruction for this grip is given at the grave side after the candidate has been raised. What, from the, like, oh my goodness, like from the dead, like the false, I guess the false raising from the dead? This is crazy. This is symbolic. They connect five points of their bodies together and whisper the password. What? Mahabon. Bro, what the heck? That's a whole thing that's been around for a while. Look at that. That's the password. You know, I heard about that. Like there's like a like a specific password that Freemasons have. That they look at that. The five points of fellowship. The foot, the knee, the wrist and the shoulder, and then the face. They kissing each other, bro. The LGBTQ now? What the heck? This is crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. This is crazy. This, my brother, is a true gripper of masturbation. Who says, Body of Grand Master Hyman, this is where you should be. Who's hiring my baby? What the heck? This is some weird, like, traditional thing. <laughs> Probably has so much symbolism. A lot of them don't even know what they're doing, bro. They just want a brotherhood. They just want a family. They just want power. It's crazy how like the devil takes everything that God does and perverts it. Like all these men are are supposed to, like probably supposed to be like pastors, apostles. This is only part one. There's a what the heck? Did y'all see that? There are hundreds of pages where it falsely interprets biblical teachings and stories to push a Zionist global agenda. Bro, this dude went ham. This is part one? Hey, bro, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to get this dude on an interview because he probably has part two, three, four, five. Who knows? This needs to be exposed, bro. This is crazy. And again, if, if, if Freemasonry is so powerful, wait, hold on. Did y'all just see that? Bruh, a Freemasonic Holy Bible, bro, where it's altered. The Bible says anyone who takes or adds to the word is a curse, bro. Look at this with the Freemasonic compass. Oh my gosh, bro. Just like they did in Islam. They took the they took the word of God and perverted it and made the Quran. It's the same thing. This is crazy. Hey, you don't oh man. This is crazy. Bro. Oh man. Y'all seen it yourself, man. I'm gonna show y'all another clip. Um of a deliverance that happened at our church. This is someone who came to the service, deliverance broke out, it was powerful that night. I mean, every night deliverance breaks out, but um, last Tuesday was powerful too, the Holy Ghost has his way. But this man came in and he renounced Freemasonry. Um, it was powerful, he got delivered from a Freemasonic spirit, came to the altar, um, he even testified, if you go watch the full YouTube video on my channel, you'll see it, this is only a reel. So I'm going to play the real so y'all can see. Um, let me get the reaction on. He sent fire through the temple. No Freemason has power over Yahweh. So we have a brother here right now. Read. You just renounced Freemasonry. Look at me. Those spirits don't have power over Jesus Christ. This is a trophy. The oh, power of God has was, power um, over this dumb idol. Yeah, it was a Freemason ring. I forgot. Wow. No Freemason has power over Yahweh, and Yahweh don't give you no power. It's Lucifer, and he lost on the cross. Yep, I was, I was saying Yahweh don't give power to Freemasons. It's Lucifer who gives you power, and Lucifer, the devil, lost on the cross. The Bible says that every principality and power was disarmed on the cross. 
We don't, we don't, we don't need Freemasonry or Lucifer. Stop on that ring. Hey! Every Freemasonic spirit come out of his soul. Ow! Come out of your... He fell out. I remember that. I sent fire to the table. There we go. There goes that demon. Every Luciferian spirit come out of him. Come out of him. All, all the way. There we go. Off his back. Off him. Off him. Hallelujah. Let's give it up for Jesus. Hey, I'm, hey, that was a powerful, powerful um, deliverance. Lord, the Lord delivered that man. And afterwards, he even testified the whole interview of how he gave up things and all that. The full video is on my YouTube channel. Um, last thing is, uh, I said, um, yeah, there it goes, is uh, Victor Ramos. So this is a, this is a man of God now. Um, Ex-Freemason, 32nd degree, ex-Santero, deep in the Santeria. And I actually met him three years ago. Um, I saw a YouTube testimony um, of him, and I hit him up because I was like, "Bro, like, I, there was someone I needed. I needed him to minister to that needed deliverance from this Freemasonic crap." And he he agreed, and we talked. We talked for a little bit, but then we just lost contact. Like he never, he he got busy. He was going through things. You know, he was, you know, it just wasn't. It wasn't time. And then today, when I was going through this, um, the the whole thing, like the the long video that I just showed y'all, that ritual that was caught on camera, I just it just popped in my head. I was like, wait, hold on. And I went on YouTube and I and I saw his testimony pop up, and I'm like, yo, I got his number. Hold on, let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him up, bro. He's coming to the Rock in Central Florida next weekend, Saturday. He's gonna be witnessing. He's gonna be giving his testimony. About how he came out of Freemasonry and um and the occult. This man was uh in the police force out there. Like he was in the Freemasonic Brotherhood within the police force. Crazy testimony. So we're gonna be having him come out here. He's gonna give a word, you know, briefly. I believe deliverance is gonna break out, repentance, people are gonna get saved. <clears throat> it's gonna be powerful. I'm also gonna be having him on a live stream next week. Probably either, either Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure. We'll we'll release it before time. But yeah, man, God is good. God is good, man. Freemasonry needs to get exposed. People need to give their life to Christ. But let me show y'all Victor Ramos because y'all can go watch his testimony um, on YouTube. But like, isn't it crazy? Look at this, bro. They try to like, they try to give information on Freemasonry to, to defend it just like COVID. Bro, that's crazy. Alpha and Omega, Pastor Jennings. Yeah, this is the... um. The YouTube channel, if you want to go see it, Victor, ex police officer, ex police officer, and ex Freemason, exposes Freemason. Free, free, Freemason. All right, brother. You said that you had also uh, Masonic, right? Masonic, yeah. Masonic. I, I, well, my career in law enforcement, I actually joined the Brotherhood of Freemasons. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. How'd you Lodge. get into that? How'd you get into that? Man, you know, a lot of cops are involved with that. Really? Oh you yeah. That? Yeah. It, it is. It, hey, and that's why they keep the Freemasonic logo on their cars. So that way when they're speeding or something happens and the cop comes up, they give them that handshake, they get away with the ticket. There's a lot of Freemasons in the police force and the political and the governments. It's crazy, bro. Like they, like the devil got them all, got all of them up in the mix, but guess what? God got his too. It's uh, it's a thing that I'm not saying you must do, but 95% of them do, you know? Just like in the military. I remember I was in the military Man, multiple people asked me to become a Freemason. I had friends that, you know, you know, it's crazy. It's back in 2000, I think it was 2013, around that time when I was in the Navy station out in Jersey, which is actually where he's from. There was actually multiple people who said, hey, man, become a Freemason. I actually almost went. I, you know, I have the, um, the text message proof from back then. I'm, I might pull it up um, of me messaging a Freemason that was in that lodge in North Jersey who invited me, I just never went. But I really thought that I needed to become part of something or that to like to like find out the answer to life. Crazy, right? God protected me from that, man. Still went to witchcraft and all that stuff, but God still protected me in that too. So now we can expose it. But this is crazy, man. Look at this dude, man. He's coming next weekend. You know what I mean? Uh, now, what's the benefit out of it? Like, what, what's, what's the main purpose? In actually, five for me, if you're going to ask me the question, I think it was more like biblical history. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, what intrigued me the most was they, you know, they talked about King Solomon's temple and mm -hmm. the Holy of Holies, and I've always been intrigued by it. So this actually exists. Yes, it does. It's the occult. There's nothing to be messing with. 
Okay. I'm gonna tell you straight up. All right. Uh, and there's three phases. Uh, first ship. I mean, the first phase is. An hey man, go watch the interview if you want to. We're gonna have him on the channel next week. Um, we'll be we'll be releasing the time. He's gonna be giving a word. Man, God is good, bro. I'm gonna pray an actual deliverance prayer now. I'm gonna pray for you guys. If anyone needs to renounce Freemasonry, you can do it right now. You don't have to wait till next weekend or come here in person. You can do it right now and get delivered. Some of you have Freemasonry um, generational curses in your bloodline. You can get delivered right now. I'm going to pray and the Holy Spirit is going to begin to deliver you. Literally deliver you and heal you right now as we speak. So if you need deliverance, I want you to put right now a two in the chat. Put a two in the chat. Um, we, put a, we, we had people put a one in the chat earlier. Man, there's a lot of people who need deliverance. Just so we know, and we're about, we about to pray, man. It's about to get real in Jesus' mighty name. So what I want y'all to do is very simple. If you need to give your life to Christ, now it's time. Look, if you need to give your life to Christ, it's very simple. The gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ is that we've all sinned. If you're a Freemason right now and you want to renounce it and you don't know what to do, let me tell you something. The Freemasonry is sin. Drinking alcohol is sin. Fornication is sin. Um, porn is sin. All these things are sin. And the Bible says that one sin sends us straight to hell. But guess what? The good news is, is that there's one who came in a human vessel, because we're all spirits in, in human vessels and bodies that never sinned. And because of him never sinning, Jesus Christ, living a perfect life, fulfilling all the Old Testament messianic prophecies, going up on that cross and being a perfect sacrifice, being buried and rising from the dead to prove that he is God. Because of what he did, he saved us. The blood that he shed, his death on the cross, saves us and gives us access back into relationship with our Heavenly Father who created us. The Bible says we're reconciled back to our Heavenly Father. That means we once knew him. When we were spirits in heaven, we come from him. And we come down here and a soul is created, a body is created. We're triune vessels, three in one. And we're, we go through this test of life to realize that none of it matters. You can't live this life and not question, what am I doing here? What's the purpose of life? That's my big, um, my big, the, the big term I use, the phrase, what's the purpose of life? You can't think about, is there an afterlife? Why is life so short? Why do we live to die? You know, if you make it to 70, 80, it's a long time. There's a reason. We come here to find, to go back into relationship with God. We are being tested to find Jesus here. So the answer to everything. It's not Freemasonry, witchcraft, all this stuff. It's the only way, which is Jesus Christ believing that he's your Lord, meaning your master. You're going to follow him, not bowing down to another man and calling him your master. That's perversion. But that the highest power, Jesus, who came into a human vessel, look, an all-powerful God lowered himself a little lower than the angels and came into a human vessel. How powerful is that? He did that for us. He encapsulated and handicapped himself into a human vessel. Had to drink water, had to eat, had to poop, had to pee, had to live, had to be a baby, grow up, read, learn. He had to do all those things because he was in a human vessel. And he went through everything that we went through in life, every temptation, everything, but never sinned to prove that he is God. Because God had to do it. We messed up in the garden with Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Before they ate from that tree, all they knew was good. The Bible says in the book of Genesis that they, they, everything that was in that garden with Adam, with Eve, was very good. God called it very good. They knew no evil. And Satan, in an actual snake, convinced Eve, you can become like God and know what evil is. And she ate from the tree, the knowledge of good and evil, then convinced Adam. That's when death and sin was allowed into the world. An expiration date on our body. Sin is very simple. Sin is, sin is, is transgression against God's law. So now we all have to go through this 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 short term of life, 70, 80 years. If that's a long time, if, if you make it to that, and that's still fast. If you're older, you know what I'm talking about. Life goes by quick. But the whole purpose of this is not material. It's not having children. It's not having a wife or husband. Those having a wife, husband, children, that's what those things are good. God blesses you with those things. God can bless you with a house. God can bless you with a car. But that that's not what we're here for. We're not here for this because everything here on earth we can't take with us. This is all an experience. It's all a test for what's coming next, which is the real life that God intended for us to have, but that we that we messed up in the garden. God never intended for us to die, an expiration date. God never intended for us to go to hell. The, the, the lake of fire, hell, all that was created for the fallen angels. But we decide with our own free will if we want to go to heaven or hell. So this is all a test. 
to come back into relationship with God so we can inherit the kingdom of heaven that he originally wanted us to be in. Very simple. If you believe that Jesus Christ died on that cross and he was buried and rose on the third day, a perfect sacrifice, and you turn away from, from all your sin, like which means recognizing what your sin is, turning away, meaning I'm not following that no more. Are you going to fall every now and then? Are you going to be tempted and fail? Yeah, of course. The Bible says if you think you're without sin, you're deceived. But what you're saying is you're making a commitment to follow Jesus. It's just like a job. When you go and you and, and you go to work you, and, and, and you know you're making money, you show up on time, you leave on the right time. Are you perfect? No. But as long as you let your supervisor know, you know, turn away from doing it again, continue to, to you know, to, to, to show up to work and, and go hard, you're good to go. You'll keep your job. It's the same thing in Christ. But the only difference is, is that it's not for money and that you can't be, that no matter what you do, you can't be fired, meaning you can't lose your salvation no matter what you do. You have to forfeit your salvation. You have to, with your, like you see, in Christ, it's so beautiful. He'll never fire you, no matter what you do, as long as you keep following him, working. Putting like We're not saved by works. It's about faith, right? By grace through faith. But what's so beautiful about it is that he'll never fire you, no matter how bad of a thing you do. Even if you steal from the cash register, even if, even if you show up late, he'll never fire you, right? But the one thing that you can do is you can leave yourself and quit. If you quit following Jesus, you can lose your, you can forfeit your salvation. So repentance is turning away from anything else, following anything else and following Christ. And his blood will continuously wash you as you follow him, confess, repent. It's a, it's a, it's, man, it's a beautiful walk in Christ. His, his, his love, his peace, his mercy, his grace, his power will fill you. I'm talking about your whole, your whole heart will change the desires of your heart. It's beautiful, bro. I used to be into witchcraft. I traveled the world. I had a whole bunch of money, had all these things, man, and God changed my life. And filled me with his spirit. And I gave everything up for Jesus. I sacrificed it all. And man, let me tell you, it's the best decision I ever made. My relationship with God alone is more important than anything. His presence, man. His word. So if you want to give your life to Christ right now, I want you to put three in the chat. Put the number three. If you want to give your life to Christ, because we're going to do a little altar call, then I'm going to pray for deliverance. Once I see all the threes in the chat, then I'm going to do a um, repeat after me prayer. Hey, might as well take, a, take advantage of preaching the good news, which is very simple, that we've all sinned, fell short, and that through accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior and turning away, you can receive that atonement, which means sin washed away, bro, sis. Sin washed away by just believing and then right now praying with me, meaning it in your heart, confessing it from your mouth, and you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. Wow, look at all these people, man. Come on. Come on, body of Christ. Tell me that's not powerful, body of Christ. Look at how many threes are in this chat. We got about 1,800 people on here. We're going to take advantage of this gospel. Imagine a church right now with about 2,000 people. That's a lot. That's how many people were at the revival in California. That was a lot of people. So I'm taking advantage of it. We're going to preach this gospel. It's not a work-based gospel. It's simple. It's by grace through faith. Not by works, lest any man boast. But faith without works is dead. Your works will prove your faith, but your works don't save you. It's just, it's just the fruit that comes from true faith. Bro, this is a lot of threes. Can someone on here count up all those threes? And after you count them all up, put it in the chat, and um, Deaconess Dana will write it down. That's a lot of threes, man. Now, okay. Wow. All right. So I want all of you that put a three. Everyone, that's a lot of threes. Everyone that put a three, imagine this altar call, how, would, how many people would be here. Praise God. Everyone that put a three, I want you to stop putting a three. Stop commenting. I want, you to, I want you to put your phone down if you can. If you got to hold it, hold it. But put it down if you can. And I want you to just let go of everything. Don't think about nothing. Don't focus on this live chat. I want you to focus on this prayer because this prayer is very important. You don't got to do no weird Freemasonic ritual like you saw earlier. If you were on, you simply, all you have to do is believe in your heart. When you believe in something in your heart, you follow it. I'm going to give this simple analogy that I always give. So many people have business ideas in their mind. And they calculate it. They figure it out. They do their research. But they never actually do the business because they never believed in their heart. You could talk to someone that had a business idea for the last 15 years. And they could tell you all the ins and outs. But they've never done it because they never believed in it in their heart. When you believe in something in your heart, you follow it. You fight for it. You'll die for it. Same thing with, with uh, your mother, your father, your, your brother, your sister. Think about the person you love the most. You'll die for them. 
no matter what they do, no matter what's happened, because you love them in your heart. So you got to believe in Jesus Christ and what he did in your heart. You got to release all doubt. You got to let go and just say, you know what? I'm going to believe in my heart. And I want you to say after this, put your, if, it's, if you're giving your life to Christ, put your right hand over your heart. Your heart's on your left side. Put your right, put your right hand on your left heart. Just like when people do the, the, the Pledge of Allegiance, right? Crazy that we'll pledge allegiance every day in school, but not give our life to Christ. Put that in your heart right there. Your right hand on your heart. Y'all ready? And I want you to say this. Close your eyes. And I want you to say, Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Say, Jesus, I believe the blood you shed wipes all my sins away. Say, Jesus, keep your eyes closed. I believe you're my Lord. Say, my master. Say, I'm going to follow you. Say, Jesus, I believe after you died, you were buried. And you rose from the dead on the third day. Say, Jesus, I repent. Say, I turn away from following sin. Say, I turn away from following the world. Say, Jesus, fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, stay right there. I want you to keep your eyes closed. You can put your hands down. And this is for anyone else that needs deliverance or whatever. I'm going to start praying for deliverance, for healing, for the Holy Spirit to fill you. People are going to start, are literally going to start encountering Jesus Christ by his spirit right now, wherever you at all around the world. Even people that are going to watch this later. Praise God. Exposing Freemasonry, then souls get saved and casting out devils on the digital spaces in Jesus' name. Y'all ready? If you need to renounce something, I want you to say this. Renounce means you're coming out of agreement. You know you're wrong. You're letting go of it. Say, I renounce all sin, Lord. Say, all sin knowingly and unknowingly. Say, I renounce Freemasonry, if that's you. Say, I renounce any generational curse of Freemasonry. Say, I renounce anything else you guys want to confess and, and renounce. It could be porn, fornication, addiction, alcohol, drugs, whatever it is. Renounce that stuff right now. Just let it go. Confess it and renounce it. Out loud. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Start confessing and renouncing. Come on. Hey, and if you and if you pray in the Holy Ghost, begin to pray with me because people are going to start getting delivered and healed, man. I'm telling you, you might not be able to see them, but if you if you if you got the Holy Ghost, you know what I'm talking about. It's by faith, man. People are going to start are going to start getting delivered. All right, now say this. Say, Jesus, deliver me. And say, I forgive every person who's hurt me or harmed me. Say it out loud. Say, I, say I, I forgive. Now, I want you to literally forgive the people who've hurt you. I want you to say their name out loud and what they did. Some of you might, might have been molested, might have been raped, might have been robbed, might have been your mom and dad left you when you were little. Just forgive the people who forgive the people who hurt you and say their names out loud and what they did. For example, I forgive John for leaving me when I was a little boy. I forgive my mother for like you see, like forgive these people, let go. Because a lot of times people have demons or legal right over their life because they can't forgive. And some of you got vapes, weed, cigarettes, alcohol. It's time to get rid of them. And I want you guys to make a video of you getting rid of all that stuff. Some of you might have evil eyes, crystals, chakras, um, Freemasonic rings, whatever it is. Get all that stuff. And I want you to just go burn it or throw it in a body of water, throw it in a, dump a dumpster. You know, with wisdom, don't, don't go against the law. Get rid of it. And if you can, record a video, like a one-minute video, post it on your story on Instagram and tag me and I'll repost you. 
All right? Whatever you're getting rid of, dream catchers are demonic, all that stuff. You don't need none of that witchcraft stuff. You cannot burn sage and be a Christian. You cannot wear evil eyes. Like, that stuff is idolatry. It's the same thing as Freemasonry. Get rid of it. Altars, all that. Tarot cards, all that. Record a video of you doing it. Post it on your story, and I'm going to repost it to encourage other people to do it, too. We're going to stomp on some demons in, in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. All right, y'all ready? It's time. I'm going to pray. It's, getting, it's about to get real. And if you're praying the Holy Ghost already and you want to intercede with me, where two agree on one thing, every word is established in heaven, where two or three are gathered in his name, he's in the midst, and we are about 17, oh, 1,738 people together. Jesus is here, even on this digital, on this YouTube video live, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in Jesus' name, I bind every unclean spirit. I bind every unclean spirit right now in Jesus' name. Every strong man, every principality and power, I, I bind every Freemasonic spirit. Every demon be bound in the name of Jesus Christ. Every Baphomet spirit be bound in the name of Jesus Christ. You cannot hide anywhere in the temple. You can't run to the arms, legs, nowhere. I bind every Python spirit. I bind every Satanic Luciferian spirit in Jesus' name. And I command right now by the authority of Jesus Christ, Luke 10, 19, he's given me power over all the enemy's power, over every snake and scorpion. Come up, come out now in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Come out. Every unclean spirit, come up and come out now in the name of Yeshua. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out of the stomach. Come off of their back. Come off of their mind. Some of you are feeling the power of God right now. You've never felt that. You're feeling power come over you. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I pray that you fill them right now. Fill them with your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you might begin to speak in tongues. You don't know what's going on. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Right now, please the blood of Jesus Christ over, these, over this screen, Lord. For anybody that's watching live and even in the future, right now in Jesus' name. So every unclean spirit, come up and come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of fear, I bind you. Come up and come out now in Jesus' name. Some of you might start throwing up, coughing up, crying. Release it. Let it go. That's just the physical manifestation of what's happening spiritually. Just let it go. Some of you might start screaming demons coming out of you. Good. It's biblical. You can read about Philip in the book of Acts. It says he went to Samaria and they screamed scream with loud voices and even a warlock got saved because he saw the miracles so right now in Jesus name I decree and I declare Freemasons, warlocks witches, people in new age and occult people in, in the world are going to get saved right now and be mighty evangelists for the Lord Jesus Christ, every demon come out in Jesus name every unclean spirit coming against anyone's destiny and purpose, I rebuke you, I bind you, come out go to the abyss now in Jesus name go to the bottomless pit loose I command full healing over the body too. Full healing over any disease, anyone dealing with lupus, anyone dealing with any headaches, anyone dealing with any blood issues, anyone dealing with acid reflux, anyone dealing with diabetes or asthma, anyone dealing with blood pressure issues, I rebuke that spirit of infirmity, loose and go to the abyss in Jesus' name. Anyone dealing with cancer, I command that tumor to disintegrate. I command every cancer cell to leave right now in Jesus' name. Be gone, burn up in Jesus' name. Hela casola. Anyone dealing with pornography addiction, I break that power over you. No more porn addiction. No more unhealthy desire and lust to watch pornography. Renounce it right now. Say, I renounce the addiction to porn in Jesus' name. Say it out of your mouth and I'm going to command that demon to come out of you. Demon, come out now in Jesus' name, demon. Come out. Every demon that's causing addiction to porn, addiction to lust, or the unhealthy desire, I command you to come up and come out now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of incubus and succubus raping or, or messing with people in their dreams, I break your power. Every spirit spouse, I divorce you in the realm of the spirit right now by the authority in Jesus Christ and every demon up, out, now in Jesus' name. Now in Jesus' name. Leaf, 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 up and out, up and out, up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Up and out in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now. Out in Jesus' name. Every evil spirit, come up and come out now in Jesus' name. Leave. Leave. 
leave. Every demon be bound, every demon leave. In Jesus' name, every principality and power, every ruler of darkness, any spiritual wickedness sitting in high places that's coming against any brother or sister watching this live, I break your power and I command you to leave their life. Leave from around them or inside of them, up and out and away. In Jesus' name right now, by fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Some of you might begin to speak in tongues. Some of you might have been praying in tongues. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now, right now in Jesus' name. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Salamando requete la baka sokotata de kese. Open up your mouth. It's an unknown, unintelligible language. It's an utterance. Open up your mouth. The rivers of living water will flow from your belly. Speaking in tongues is a gift of the Spirit. It's faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, baptize them in your power. May the gift stir up right now in Jesus' name. Fire the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Lekata roboko. Someone said they spit out some white, whatever it is, good in Jesus' name. Every demon come up and come out now. Every demon come up and come out now. Thank you, Jesus, that you are king. Thank you, Jesus. You're the Lord of lords. Thank you, Yeshua. You are the king of all kings. Thank you, Yeshua. Jesus Christ, you are the alpha, the omega, the beginning of the end. You are the fullness of God bodily. You are not just mere a, a mere prophet. You are God, and you are God incarnate in the flesh. Jesus, we love you, Lord. You're seated at the right hand of the Father. Father, and you sent the Holy Ghost for us to be able to experience heaven here on earth, a deposit of heaven, a deposit of your glory living inside of us and around us. So right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the inheritance of Jesus Christ, every demon out in Jesus name, leave, come out, come out, up and out. In Jesus' name. I break every generational curse of Freemasonry. I break that generational altar of Freemasonry or Morning Star, Illuminati, any of that stuff. I break it by the power. Every altar be broken by fire. In Jesus' name, Elijah called upon altar in the realm of the physical and it burned up two altars. I call upon fire in the realm of the spiritual on every demonic altar in the spirit realm that's causing generational cycles that are putting God's people in bondage. I break that power, break that altar be gone, be broken in Jesus' name. Freedom. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom in Jesus' name. Come on. Hallelujah. Freedom in Jesus' name. If you're feeling nauseous, that's, that's, that's deliverance about to happen. Up and out, leave them, leave them. Some of you might start throwing up, coughing up, whatever it is. Up and out, leave them. I command every headache to be made whole. I command every lie, any demon hiding in anywhere, anywhere in the body in the name of Jesus Christ, leave in Jesus' name. Leave in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, leave in Jesus' name. Everything go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hey, God is so good. Yeah, God is so good, man. So many, hey, if you just got freed, if you just got freed, put a fire emoji. Put a fire emoji. If you just got freed, put a fire emoji so you can let out, so we can testify in the name of Jesus. And what you can do is if you need more freedom, you can actually, when we post this video, go back and rewind and watch the, and, and, and watch it through the deliverance prayer. Or you can go on my YouTube channel, this channel, and you can find, um, you can find a whole deliverance prayer that you guys can, um, Run up, man. Just keep watching it and you'll receive your deliverance. It's crazy, man, because YouTube is what actually um helped bring me to Christ. God used YouTube a lot. God used you. you got, man, I got a lot of deliverance from, from YouTube videos from like Derek Prince and other mighty men of God in the past, man. God is so good. Look at all those fire emojis, man. Come on. Generational curse is broken. Freemasonic spirits gone. Altars shattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost, man. Souls saved, man. How many souls were saved? Who counted it up? How many souls were saved? Who counted it up? Man, that's a lot of fire emojis. Wow. Some of you got baptized in the Holy Spirit, spoken tongues for your first time, man. Woo, come on. Hey, if you need a puke, let it out, man. That's deliverance. Hallelujah. <sighs> God is so good. And you know what's so amazing about this is that unbelievers get to actually watch this there was 300 plus souls saved. What? What? 300 plus people gave their life to Christ? That's powerful. 
Come on, Jesus. Oh, someone said 195. All right, don't be capping with the 300 then. <laughs> All right. God is so good, man. God is so good, bro. Man, it's 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 amazing that even unbelievers get to come in here. And you know what's so crazy is that people be manifesting in the chat. Did y'all see that? Like, they won't go on anyone else's YouTube channel and try to like do something, but they come on here because you know why? That that demon in them don't like this. <laughs> hey, but hey, for the for the haters, Jesus loves you too, and he wants you to be freed from that demon, saved, filled with the love and peace. You might have been rejected when you were a young boy. You might have been, you know, people bullied you. You know, might have you might might have dealt with some crazy religion. Maybe you were in a religious church. Let me tell you something. Jesus loves you, bro. Jesus loves you, and he wants you to be freed. For real. He wants you to be freed. Break free of that religion, man. Break free of that that uh knowing Jesus knowing Jesus in the mind, but not the heart. He wants to have a relationship with you. God is so good. Yes, Satan is defeated. We stomped, we stomped on some more demons tonight. We're going to post this live, man. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to make sure that you share this video, like this video. I mean, comment on the video when it gets posted. Man, God is so good. I believe the video is going to run up. Pray over, pray over the ministry, guys, that the YouTube channel continues to keep booming so that more souls can get saved. Continue to pray, 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 pray. God is amazing. He's winning souls. He's breaking chains. He's healing. He's doing everything he always does. Jesus Christ is king. There's no other way. You can't make it to heaven through Freemasonry. You cannot be a Freemason and make it to heaven. That is witchcraft. That is idolatry. It's the same thing as voodoo, Santeria. All that stuff is not of God, man. It's paganistic. God wants you to be free to that so you can have real power, real love, real peace, real joy. You don't got to You don't gotta, uh, fake a death or... Man, I've seen some crazy stuff, man. Hey, but I can't, I can say it though, because I was in it and God freed me. So 